Hi guys, it is Denma here, and look what I have. I have a new addition to the family. About 10 or 11 o'clock this morning, I was still asleep, and I heard a knock on my camper door, and my mom comes in and tosses me this cat. So, um, it seems that our neighbor that has at, that found Jelly Bean uh, had trapped this one in one of his cages and thought it was ours. So, it's not... But, until we find its owner, if there is one, he's going to be staying with me. It is a male. I finally got him calm enough to where I could check his little private area. He's about three to six months old. His big teeth are popping in on the top. His big canines. But the bottom teeth, he doesn't have any canines on. So, I don't know if they've just not come in yet. Or if he's lost them somehow. I am not sure. He's still a little growly with the rest of the brood. Yeah, I'm talking about you. But he's really sweet when it comes to me. He starts purring and meowing. And when I went up to leave for a second, he cried. So it's like, oh, you're making me feel guilty today. But he's really super sweet, so I don't know where he came from. He does have a boo-boo, though, on his back left paw. It almost looks like, um, maybe his claw got snagged in something. I don't know. I'll have to take him to the vet to get him checked out and see, because he seems to be limping on it. See, you can probably hear him growling a little bit because he sees Claudine over there. Um, they've come up to sniff, it, sniff him. He's only slapped check off ones but with no claws so he's slowly getting used to them but look at those little white paws look at those little white paws look at that cute face yeah he is yes you want your close up there you go buddy he's very talkative and we found check off almost the same way except our neighbor didn't drop him off to us but <laughs> Yeah, I'm touching his back leg and it seems to be sore, so maybe he might need an x-ray. Um, it doesn't, it's not like hindering his walking any, he's just limping. So I just don't know if his whole leg is sore and he's just defensive or what. So I need to go ahead and get him checked out, get him a rabies shot and set him up for the snippy snippy neuter. Because if you're going to be staying with me, I don't know if you spray or not. Chekhov isn't neutered, but he has never sprayed, and he has not shown no interest in female cats at all. I think something is really wrong with him. So, this one I'm not sure about. So, but he's got really, for a short hair, his fur is very thick. And he's got a little scuff mark there on the right side of his face, on his muzzle. Don't you bite me, see? And it seems to be a little sore. But his ears are really clean, surprisingly. So, hopefully you'll find your owner. If not, welcome to the brood. Oh, you're going to be cute now. If it was a boy, I was going to name him Freya. Or a girl, I was going to name her Freya. But since you're a boy, you're probably named Anton. <laughs> Yes. Anton! Does I have a check off? Oh shit. Claudine, he doesn't trust you yet. She wants to play with him so bad because he's her size. It's actually bigger than her and she's full grown. She's almost a year old. Hey, hey, hey. Shh. It's just me. It's just me. It's alright. It's alright. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I got you. Whoop, whoop. I'll protect you. You go on now. Leave him alone. Evie. I have a new blanket. Even though, as you can see, it's covered with cat hair already. I just got this less than a week ago, but uh, living with cats, you gonna have cat hair. But it's descendants rotten to the core bedding. It's got Mal on one side of the pillow and Evie on the other for some, or the whole crew on the other. For some reason, I always end up putting my sheet, my pillowcases on normally, and they end up going 
halfway after a couple of nights. So there's Chekhov. But there he is again. So anyway, Chekhov's just in the box in the corner. Can we say bye? Want to say bye? There you go. He's eating a little bit, so he's getting a little bit more comfortable. It'll take him a few days to get comfortable here. But anyway, this is Denma signing off. I just wanted to show you this little guy. So, I mean, if any of you are local to my area, which is Aurora, North Carolina, and if you're missing or know somebody that's missing a kitten, let me know. But otherwise, he's mine. So, I love you guys. See you next time. If you want to see my channel grow, subscribe and like and hit that bell notification so you know when we post. And this is our new edition. Signing off as well. He's so tired. His third eye lives are coming up. He's tired. <laughs> bye bye, guys.